All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Nate Diaz and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Okay, you ready? You ready? So and far. we are underway. He missed that kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, perfect head kick there. Powerful left hand. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh, huge shot there, Lance Flush. That's a nice clean shot. Wow! Oh, he's definitely blocked. Hit him hard with that hook. Landed a big kick there. Hurt him with that overhand. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. How about that chin? Oh, oh beautiful hook Hard there. left hook. Oh, head kick! Oh, I love how he stepped through with that left hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh! Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Now he goes for the single leg. Nice takedown. Under two minutes now to go in round one. He transitions back to half guard. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. And he is back up to his feet. The right hand just misses. Oh! Big shot! He's got him right here. Big left. Changes his stance. Oh, straight right. He got tagged. He got tagged. He's hurt. So a strong five minutes down. Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Second round here. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast to try to pick up... Oh! oh! Body kick, he's yeah. got him hurt here. in and secures the takedown. Full guard here. And there's one leg over. He's almost mounted him here. He's got it. He's mounted him. Showing good defense here. Controlling that arm. Keeping him from hitting him. Gets the elbow up into the target. We show you the total strikes. Oh, a nice straight there by Diaz. Great exchanges. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his oh! eyes. He's hurt here. Oh, he's got a submission locked up. He's looking for the Japanese necktie here. What he wants to do is, he wants to slide one arm under his opponent's armpit and behind his neck, clasp his hands together behind his opponent's head, pull the head into his chest, trapping it, then throw his leg over. And there it is! 
Used great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. And here's the end of the fight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is going to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. To claim the winner by tap out, Nate so Nate Diaz still getting the job done deep into his second decade as a professional mixed martial arts fighter. A lot of people thought from a matchup standpoint that this one wouldn't go his way here tonight, but Nate Diaz finds a way yet again, and I just think for a lot of lightweights and even welterweights, they just can't deal with the boxing skills, the toughness, the never-say-die attitude. Nate Diaz getting it done in a big way here tonight.